Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the top five cards I am excited for and the new set, Born, I keep saying Born of the Gods, Battle for Zendikar, Battle for Zendikar. So uh, number one I have as, well I guess I'll do number five first and I'll have the little things, nope, nope, wrong way, here. So I will go ahead with number five, Zada Hedon Grinder. Now Zada Hedon Grinder is very interesting. I think he's very, as a speculation, he's one of my favorite speculations for this new set. Now that being said, 95, 95 to 99% of the cards in this new set will go down in price. That's maybe you have one or two cards go up in price, but I feel like one of them might be Zada because he's so low right now. I think he's a dollar twenty-five or dollar fifty. He's the goblin dude who duplicates the effect on all your creatures. Now I like him a lot because the curve is very strong. You have Goblin War Chaser, the guy who becomes renowned. You have Swift Blade. You have um, Fodder. You have Outburst, and then you curve straight into it. And even like a Titan Strength, given the fact that you have so many creatures, is very good. Uh, multiple, any effects, pretty much any effect that you target it and, and spreads in multiple creatures. Uh, Tamara Battle Rage, if you can get some ferociousness on going on. Uh, if you had Titan Strength and then Tamara Battle Rage, that's not bad. It's not bad. So I like the card. I love the card. And I want to play the card in standard. And probably in my MTG, I get a lot of MTG Lion f &M. that's going to happen soon, but I wanted it to happen either at the pre-release or after the pre-release because we have to incorporate new cards. So it wouldn't really make sense for me to continue it right now and then be like, oh, by the way, we have to change all of our cards, kind of. So anyway, that is my number five. I do love it as a speculation because it is very low price right now. It might not see any play, but hey, I like it. Foils might be good to go. Kiora. Kiora Master. Uh, Kiora is one of those cards that when she finds a home, it will be a forever home. Uh, meaning a blue-green type of deck, I don't, it's hard for me to imagine that existing. I can imagine Bant, I can imagine a mo, you know, mo, four color deck for Kiara, but I don't think that's where she wants to be. I think she wants to be in a Simic deck or at most a Bant deck. I don't love don't love her abilities. Um, I, I think they are very good, and I feel like she power level wise. I don't know if it's strong enough. Her abilities are good, but they have to be good in a certain deck. And green blue has never been a deck I've loved. Simic in standard has never been a deck I'm like. Oh, okay, that was kind of good. So Kiora, I mean, I tried Zagana. I love Zagana, but it just didn't work out because the deck is just too weak. The two colors are not strong enough. And that's probably why I don't feel like, that's why I have her as number four. Love her for EDH, love her for casual, but as a standard card, probably not. Number three, Dragon Master. The first time Dragon Master came out, I was like, holy crap, this card is amazing because it's like a pseudo planeswalker. But instead of like Shawkon, where you have to generate whatever the five color, the Tamir Shawkon, where it generates those uh, dragons, this one is generating a dragon that's bigger and automatically generating it if you have six or more land, which Mana Ramp is something that you want to look at. A green red deck, just like last time, just like original agenda card, can take advantage of this card and abuse it. The card is very good. Now, would a card be valuable? No. Do I want to speculate on a reprint like this? No. But will the card see play in mono red or some type of red green? I think it's going to be red green. I feel like it's too slow for mono red. If mono red, you got six cards. I mean, that's uh, six land. That's not the best. But anyway, let's talk about um, number two, Draina. Draina, Liberator of Molokir. Molokir? Love her. I loved her her first time around, and I love her even more the second time around. 
One double black is very affordable for that ability. It can take over a game. It is exactly what Brimaz could have been, but it might be stronger. I think power level wise, it is stronger than Brimaz. I think I want to play it more than Brimaz, and I feel like she will have a home in red. She already has a home in red, black aggro, but maybe Mardu, Mardu dragons, Mardu tokens, tokens, black, red tokens. I am already very excited about that card. I love it very much. Now my number one card, of course, is Gideon. Gideon just does everything you want to do for allies. I feel like allies will be a deck. So you can quote me on this. And I do feel like allies are strong enough. I feel like allies have enough firepower. And I would love, I would, there would be nothing more than I would want to do than have allies actually be playable again. Zendikar, original Zendikar, they were like playable, but like not tier one. I love the concept. I love that they changed the ability just enough to make it playable with other cards. And Gideon, I'm telling you, Gideon is going to be house against some decks. Token producers, producing a token that is an ally, triggering all the effects, that's exactly what allies needed the first time around in Zendikar. And they finally received the Planeswalker they deserved. I love it. So what is your top five? And leave a comment below with what cards you feel like you want to play with or what cards you feel like you want to speculate on. So the only card out of this list I would speculate on would probably be the card that's $1.25 right now as number five. But uh, overall, maybe speculate on him in foil. I'm not positive. I will let you guys know, Draina, I, it's very expensive for her right now. It's too expensive. I hope she drops off a little bit. Then I might jump back in with her. Anyway, bye guys.